Very exciting things are coming to Mortal Kombat 1. We're talking 20 more DLC characters, a cameo versus mode, and even a tag team battle mode. That's right, all that and more discussed in today's video, because another day means more Mortal Kombat 1 news. I'm covering it all the time on this channel. So if you want to stay up to date on Mortal Kombat 1 news, then make sure to subscribe and ring that bell so you never miss any future videos. And then after watching, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like down below, it helps my channel out a ton. And without any further ado, let's begin after a quick word from today's sponsor. Playing video games is a ton of fun, but what if you could earn rewards while doing it? That's where Misplay comes in. It's basically a loyalty app for us gamers. You can earn gift cards for Amazon, Walmart, Visa, Xbox, PlayStation, and more simply by playing games through the Misplay app. In fact, over $60 million in gift cards have already been redeemed. And keep in mind, Misplay has a massive catalog of games, including puzzle games, card games, strategy games, adventure, and more. If you guys haven't tried Raid yet, be sure to check it out through Misplay to earn rewards while you play. It's honestly a win-win because Raid is a gotcha game, so while you're unlocking characters, you're also earning rewards in real life. So what are you waiting for? Head on over to misplay.com underdog to download Misplay for free, or simply scan the QR code on screen. You'll get 200 bonus points for signing up today, plus an additional 50 free points for using code underdog inside the app, all of which goes towards redeeming your first gift card. Misplay is a fantastic way to to reward yourself for gaming, so try them out today. Alright, and back to the Mortal Kombat 1 news, starting off with the big DLC reveals. And all of you watching might want to sit down for this part. If you're driving the car right now and listening to my video, you may want to pull over, because right now I'm gonna blow your mind. Because it turns out, there is way more DLC being worked on right now than people realize for Mortal Kombat 1, and I'm talking a lot more. Not just Combat Pack 1, not just Combat Pack 2, not just the story mode expansion, even more stuff on top of that, I'm going to blow your mind right now, and keep in mind, all this info comes from Fate Unknown, who is a verified insider, so you know this sneak peek is legit. Without further ado, let's throw it up on screen, there it is. In the recent server update, the number of DLC slots became 20. That's right, and he means character slots. Mortal Kombat 1 is going to get 20 DLC characters, how crazy is that? But okay, I'm getting ahead of myself, let's keep on reading. So, that would make it 6 characters for Combat Pack 1, 3 characters characters for Story Combat Pack, 3 characters for Combat Pack 2, plus 3 guest characters, and 5 more characters. Yeah, that's crazy. I gotta stop right now and do a breakdown of what we just read. We're not only getting a Combat Pack 1, but NetherRealm is already working on a Combat Pack 2. That's why the update added the character slots to the data files of Mortal Kombat 1. But then on top of that, we're getting a story expansion, and it looks like we're going to get DLC characters from that story expansion as well, which could mean any number of things. What I think this means when I read it is that there's going to be new characters introduced in story mode or some returning characters and we as the player are going to get to use them as DLC characters. They're going to be fully playable or cameo characters. So real quick for a fast example, if Noob Saibot shows up in the story expansion, he very likely could be one of these story combat pack characters. Or for another example, if Jade shows up in the story expansion, then she also could very likely become a DLC character in story combat pack. All of which is very exciting news, but then on top of that, for combat pack 2, we're also going to get three more guest characters. And I know some people don't prefer guest characters, I personally would always prefer a Mortal Kombat character, whether it's a brand new character or a returning character, but at the same time, with that being said, there are certain guest characters that I really do want to see in Mortal Kombat 1, like Blood Rain for example. Or maybe even Kratos from the recent God of War games. I know some people would consider that a repeat character because Kratos was already a guest character in MK9? I personally don't think so, because Kratos in the new games has completely different weapons that you can utilize for his combat. Like the Leviathan Axe, for example, that does ice manipulation. That's already completely different from the Blades of Chaos in MK9. And then for a cameo character, you could have Atreus. Come on, this would print money. It's such a perfect pairing. Do it, Netherrealm, do it! Alrighty, back on track. On top of all of this stuff, we're also going to get five more DLC characters, which is crazy. Once again, that's 20 characters planned in total, and it's very likely that Netherrealm is already working on these characters. Which of course is great news, and then on top of that, this same insider has confirmed that Mortal Kombat 1 is doing fantastic. The game is apparently doing quite well according to Netherrealm and WB, so Mortal Kombat 1 is going to keep getting support, and it's very likely all of this DLC is going to be finished and be added to the game at some point in the future. It may take a while because come on, 20 characters, but still, a lot of cool stuff is coming. But alright, let's make sure to finish 
finish reading, it is worth noting that Shang Tsung counts as a DLC, but doesn't take up one of the 20 slots. Cameos have also been found in the file, such as redacted, that's how you know it's insider info, this stuff is in black ink, it's redacted, and others, but we are unsure if those are final or not since they're not in the tournament mode file. So in other words, these cameo characters found in the data files could still be in the concept phase. Netherrealm wants to make them, or is at least considering them, but they haven't been approved and are not in the official folder yet, which is why we can't be for certain if they're actually going to be final or not in Mortal Kombat 1. But no matter what the case may be, all of this news is super exciting. Mortal Kombat 1 is going to get so much content in the future, and as you all know, I love making these videos interactive, so in the comments down below, let me know how you feel about all this news. How exciting is it to know that 20 characters are planned to release in Mortal Kombat 1? That's crazy. And on top of that, we're getting a story combat pack and three more guest characters. Which guest characters do you want for Mortal Kombat 1? Make sure to let me know in the comment section down below. And as for these mystery cameo characters, who do you think it might be. They're redacted here, which means we're free to guess and speculate. Let your imagination run wild. Because like I keep saying in all my videos, I truly do read each and every comment, so grab that keyboard and make your voices heard. Because like mentioned earlier, there's even more DLC stuff to talk about, including online rooms. That's right, this feature should have been in the game from day one. That is true, but I digress. In case you're wondering what online rooms are, they're basically a public lobby where anybody can join, which is great because as of right now, you can only join a private lobby if you're invited, and you're also limited to King of the Hill. So having a public lobby or a room is fantastic because it's just one more way to find matches, and also it's a great way to make friends. And I think that's the biggest hurdle that a lot of new fighting game players run into, right? They like playing the game, but it's hard finding people that are at their level, that they can practice with and improve with together, and having public rooms as an option is a great way to fix this problem. So this DLC update might not seem like a big deal because it's just public rooms, but trust me, some of the best friendships I ever formed happened because of a public lobby in a fighting game. Whether it was Soul Calibur, or it was Tekken, or even Street Fighter, public lobbies are a must, and I'm so happy that Mortal Kombat 1 is finally going to add them. Because it really is a great way to build the community and form connections with players at your skill level, or maybe a bit better than you so you can improve. It's just good to find people that you can play with consistently on like a daily basis, and public rooms just make that so much easier. Alright, and now finally, it's time for DLC topic number 3, and this one is also crazy. I mentioned it earlier during the start of the video, Tag Team Battles. That's right. A little while ago, some data miners discovered that Mortal Kombat does have a tag team feature, but it's just disabled. So if you want to actually use it, you have to download a free mod that actually gives you the key to access this tag team battle mode. Or in other words, this tag mode is not complete yet. It was added to the game though, which definitely does imply that Netherrealm does plan to add tag team to Mortal Kombat 1 in the future. And just in case anybody is wondering about the details of this tag team battle, the cameo characters are completely turned off. Instead, you and your opponent are using two fully playable characters that you can switch out at any point during the match. And then on top of that, each of these characters has their own health bar, but that's about as deep as it goes at this point. Unlike in Mortal Kombat 9, where every character had strings and special moves they could tag out on, I don't think Mortal Kombat 1 has that yet. Instead, the tag team battle mode is still in a beta build, but here's where things get interesting. Recently, there's been more stuff added to the tag team battle mode, which means Netherrealm is actually working on it. It's not just in the files, it's not a dead concept. Netherrealm is actively adding updates to the tag team battle mode, which means we're probably gonna get it. We're very likely going to get tag team in Mortal Kombat 1. So already, that's really cool. Fans have been demanding a 2v2 mode for a while now, right? We got the cameo characters, but for some people, that doesn't scratch that tag team battle itch. It's not quite the same, which is why it's fantastic news that Netherrealm is making updates to the tag team mode, even if it's not playable yet. But guess what, I'm not done, because next up we have a cameo versus mode. I have no idea what this is, I don't think anybody has any clue what this is. Feel free to guess and speculate in the comment section down below. If I had to guess as a gambling man gun to my head, I would say that the cameo characters can fight each other. But uh, that's about it. I have no idea how that would even work. And finally, there's one more versus mode that I've heard is in the works, and it's the long-awaited, fan-requested 
1v1 mode. That's right, no cameo characters, just mano a mano. I know for a fact that a ton of players want this to be a mode, because they just don't like the cameo characters, and they feel a bit alienated, because normally Mortal Kombat has always been 1v1, or 2v2, but never 1v1 with a cameo assist character. So for many players, they feel kind of alienated, because they've gotten used to 1v1 combat, and now suddenly here come the cameo characters mixing everything up. And if you're one of those players who hates cameo characters, then I have good news for you, because apparently a 1v1 mode is in the works. It really does look like 2024 is going to be a great year for Mortal Kombat 1. Thanks for watching everyone, and I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like down below, it helps my channel out a ton. And then finish that combo by subscribing and ringing that bell so you never miss any future videos. Make sure to come back next time, and as always, stay underdogs.